Shalom Sabbath, everyone. Again, we are gathered and uh, to hear the word on this Sabbath day as we remember the promise of the Sabbath that is to be actualized in our lives as we purify ourselves from the Yitzhahara of the sinful nature and take on the nature of our Father, Yahweh. And we ourselves can be a living reality of the Elohim in the earth. This is our hope. This is what we strive for. This is why we meet together to explore the word, to hear the word, and then to go out and do the word. I have found over the last few weeks of talking to many people, uh, especially Christians, that the whole concept of salvation uh, is been lost, just completely lost because of the falsification of the word uh, that has taken place through these centuries of uh, men who have uh, conformed the word to their will and desire and have lost the prime directive of the purpose in which Yeshua HaMashiach came and manifested in the earth the Elohim from Yahuwah. So today we're going to deal with Yeshua, he who saves his people from sin. It is very important that we understand the prime directive and the prime purpose for which the word comes into the world, which is to save his people from lawlessness, from sin, from those characteristics that obstruct the reception and the work of the Ruach HaKidosh within us, which is to circumcise our heart from all evil and lustful concupiscence that relates to our flesh. For Elohim is spirit, and that which is born of flesh is flesh. Let me say that again. That which is born of flesh is flesh. But that which is born of spirit is spirit. So we are seeking to be born of spirit to become spiritual men, to become spiritual women, to become a spiritual nation. We no longer seek from the characteristics of the flesh nor the characteristics of our nature that has not experienced the actual redemption that has been promised us in the new covenant or the renewed covenant which Yeshua inaugurated through the shedding of his blood. Let us go to Matthews 1.21 and I'm going to be reading this from the Hebrew manuscript of the Basara Gospel, for some, of Yeshua, that was written by Matthew. And it's interesting because it used different words than the Greek. The Greek obviously is a translation of the Hebrew. And obviously they did not have the comparable words in many instances or just didn't know how to translate the Hebrew, and I think it was due more to ignorance than it was to anything else, ignorance of the Hebrew language. But we're going to read it first in the Hebrew, and then I'm going to break down the words. All of you know we're having Hebrew class, and we need to learn this language. If not to speak, learn it to the degree where you can study and research and glean revelation from the Spirit. For well, the Spirit enlightens us to understand the things that we study. If we do not study, there is nothing within us to be enlightened. You understand? So we must study. And we must study to a degree that has not been common in this society. We must go all in exegese words and pray. Prayer should just be a normal culture in your life. All knowledge, wisdom, and understanding comes from Yahuwah and not from man. So let us continue. In Matthew 1.28, in the Hebrew, it says, 
ותלעד בן ותקרא שמו ישוע, כי הוא יושיע את עמי ממעונתים. I have a problem with that word. I want Nathim. And in the English it reads, And you birth a son, and you shall call his name Yeshua. For those that have this controversy with the names, it's written in the Hebrew Gospel as Yoshin Wa Ayin, the short form of Yahushua or Yahshua, his salvation. This is how Matthew wrote it. So I have no controversy with the name Yahshua, and it, it keeps you from listening to these messages that I use Yahshua or Yahoshua or Yahshua. Uh, many times I use all the names uh, of Yeshua. But I, I, let me get to the point here. I just wanted to throw that in because I know that there are people who are so dogmatic concerning the name and, and shut their lights off because somebody doesn't say a word like they think it be said or, you know, the other foolishness. I'll read that again. Ve'telad bin ve'tekra shemo Yeshua ki hu Yoshia at ami Mim awor netim. And you shall have a child, a son, Vetekra, and you shall call him Shemol, call his name Yeshua, for he is saving it, his people, from lawlessness. Awon netim, lawlessness. In the Greek, uh, Manuscripts, they translated this hamatai, which means to fall short of the standard, which is congenual with the Hebrew term kata, sin. But here, Matthew did not use the word kata. He used awon. Awon means iniquity, lawlessness. That means actions against the Torah, actions against the law of Yahuwah. When you are living in opposition to those laws, you are awon, you are lawless. You are living without the consciousness of law. The law gives us consciousness of sin. It defines what sin is. And at the same time, it gives a definitive of what righteousness is. So without a consciousness of the commandments Elohim, you cannot have a definitive of what sin is and therefore is unable to identify it and not be able to identify it. Of course, you can't confess it as sin. So this is why it is necessary for us to know the relevancy of keeping the commandments. If I steal and really are not conscious of the thou shall not steal, and I'm not going to feel any conviction for stealing. If I adulterate and not a, a conscience of thou shall not adulterate, then I will not feel a conviction for that adulteration and therefore will remain in my sins. But it says that Yeshua, he came to save us from our netim, our sins, from our sins. He didn't come to give us an allowance to sin by giving us a grace that allows us to sin. See, this is what is taught in Babylon, that you're saved by grace. A grace that is defined as unmerited favor, meaning you don't have to do nothing. You just say, just believe in Jesus and you're saved. You're covered by the blood. It's an idiotic doctrine. It's a doctrine that does not allow the purpose of Yeshua to be fulfilled within our lives. We need to understand that. We need to understand the grace that brings salvation.